hi i'm dr allison edmonds and we're talking about toxins go figure we always talk about toxins you probably um you it's everywhere we know it's in our air our water our food and you're hearing about it all the time we know toxins are causing inflammation which is leading to 97 percent of all diseases uh, we're living in the most toxic generation this is unfortunately affecting our children the most and we know this is the first generation of children not expected to outlive their parents. So we're gonna dive into a little bit of an explanation of why that is actually happening. So um, this is a bucket, this lovely drawing here, but picture it representing a cell. So when we talk about the inflammation and, and the function of a cell, we know we have 50 trillion amazing cells that are important for just all life and healing in our body, right? And in this bucket though, um, as we're exposed to toxins, it starts to fill up. So we know, as we just looked at mine and my mother's heavy metal test, um, we know you're born with your mother's and your grandmother's and your great grandmother's metals that they had in their body. So it's those are passed on for four generations. So you're already born with toxins, right? Um, and then unfortunately, there's all kinds of things like glyphosate and Roundup and, and terrible pesticides um, on, on our food. And then, you know, they're spraying chemicals in the air because they're spraying our fields. Um, and then childs are getting, childs, excuse me, children are getting um, 86 vaccinations before the age of six now. Actually, that might even, it, like it is, I think it might be 92 now. So that's, I mean, that's a few layers here, right? Um, and then all of our food, again, um, it's just having it, we're genetically modifying it. And so it's literally changing our DNA. It's causing inflammation. So here's what's happening. This bucket is overflowing. The water is pouring out. And what that means is there are symptoms. Now these symptoms may be mild in the beginning. Like maybe there's just a little bit of brain fog, just a little bit of fatigue. And we're like, Oh, I just, you know, I've been working a lot. The kids have too many things going on, too many things on the schedule. Um, I mean, we just, we have to push on. So how many times, I don't know, I'm guilty of that, just attributing it to something else going on. So the overflow of toxins are, are coming out as symptoms. So how many of you want to get your health back? How many of you want to decrease the toxic load in your body and decrease the toxins that your family is exposed to every day? We want to walk you through that journey, but I just want to um, put a little bit of focus on, so this is... In order to get the healing, in order to get health back in your body um, and your body healing at 100%, there are three things that support that. So um, this is a three-legged stool, in case you can't tell by my lovely drawing. The three-legged stool, what happens if you break one of the legs? It collapses. That's like the, the health of um, many of us. We know that 75% of Americans, 40 or older, are diagnosed with a chronic disease. And typically, if you're diagnosed with a chronic disease, you expect to have that for forever, right? It's chronic. You're just going to have it. Um, so we know that these things are so, all three of these things are so important um, to have, but you also have to support all three of them to get better. That's why when the you know latest and greatest, most amazing keto fasting diet comes out, um, you it, it might fix your gut, but it's not going to fix your whole entire health and your whole entire body. Um, now, is it going to help? You better believe it. Um, but it's so important that we address all three of these because um, we all have stress. We have physical, chemical, and emotional stresses every day. Um, we don't even want to avoid most of those because even good things are stresses on our body, right? And we were created to handle those things. But we do know that stress affects the bacteria in your gut, which affects your immune system and it just affects everything. Stress also affects our DNA. It can damage our DNA. Now, when we look at um, our gut, we know that the, our, the microbiome uh, is like our second brain. That can affect the way we handle stress, right? So if, if the bacteria is off in our gut, depression, anxiety, like these things are are real and they're really tearing apart families um, and just decreasing people's chances at enjoying life. Um, your gut is also going to affect the DNA. Now here's really important and we're going to talk a lot more about DNA um, in the workshop that uh, on toxins, but DNA you do get it from your parents, but it's not about the DNA that you have. It's about whether the codes are turned on or off. 
right? And so that is so important and it must be supported um, and cellular processes need to be healed and we need to remove toxins at a deeper level in order to heal the DNA for you to get your health back so that you can be 100% of the person that God made you to be. So we'll see you soon.